I made a claim in a recent video that I thought the number seven Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Serum Foundation might be a dupe for the Lancome Taint E Doll Ultra Wear Foundation. And then I thought maybe I should test that claim and see if I'm right. I am going to put these two foundations head to head and see how they wear through a normal eight to 10 hour day and let you know if this one actually is a dupe for this one or not. In order for this to be a fair test, I am going to use the same primer over all my face and I'm going to use the Touch and Soul No Problem Blurring Primer. And I really do like this primer. I have others at the drugstore price that kind of do the same thing, but let's just use this one. And I'm just smoothing that all over my face. Of course, I have my skincare already on. This is a very smoothing primer. It gives that kind of velvety feel, fills in the pores. I kind of press it in, and then I'm gonna let it set for just a minute before I go in with the foundation, so I'll be right back. To help me remember, I'm going to use the Lancome on the left side of my face, L and L, and I'm going to use the number seven on the right side of my face. There's no help there, but the Lancome on the left. And I have a clean beauty sponge. I'm going to use different sides of it to blend in the foundation so that I don't confound the results. I don't know what's going on with my forehead right now. I have lots of red spots up there, but I guess that'll give us a good indication of how well this covers redness. I am going to try to use the same amount of each foundation on both sides, and they're not exactly the same color, but when they blend out, it's okay. I have put two pumps of each foundation on my palette. This is the Lancome, and this is the number seven, and you can see the Lancome is just a little bit more liquidy than the number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to see if we can do it with that number of dots and clean side and we'll just blend. While I'm blending, I will give you the specs on this foundation. Lancome claims that this is a 24 hour full coverage foundation. It is transfer and humidity resistant and comes in 50 shades. They say that it seamlessly covers imperfections, leaving skin smooth and flawless with a natural matte finish. The oil-free foundation feels lightweight and breathable on the skin, and it stays fresh all day without oxidizing or fading. Okay, now I'm going to clean off my fingers, and we're going to take the number seven and do one, two, three, four, five, oh, I need a little bit more, five, six, seven, eight. It was eight, right? Yeah, it was eight. Okay. Then I'm going to spin this around to the clean side and blend this one in. Number seven says this is formulated with the clinically proven anti-aging ingredients from the number seven Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Serum. Skin is left with a radiant, more healthy looking glow. Optical blurs and light reflecting particles minimize the appearance and signs of skin aging by reflecting light away from fine lines and wrinkles. It does have an SPF 15. The flexible formula moves with skin and doesn't migrate into fine lines and wrinkles, and it gives all day hydration. I have found it on Vitacost and I've linked that below. Okay, so just looking at it here in my mirror, I think that they look very similar. The color on the number seven is a little cooler, so I don't know if that makes any difference in how it looks on my skin, but they both did an okay job with the red spots, but not a great job. And I like a little more coverage across my cheeks, so I'm going to build up both of them. And let's do the Lancome side first. So there's two more there, two more there, and I'm going to do just a little bit more on my chin because I didn't get very much down there. And the chin and the nose when you do these side by sides are hard because there's going to be a little overlap in the center, otherwise you don't have foundation there. And we'll just, they both build really well. And I'm going to press that into my nose and then give a little bit more here on the forehead. And yes, I'm happier with that. I got better coverage on those red spots and I feel like a little bit of the redness on my cheek was covered better. And then one, one, two, a little bit here, and one, two.
pressing it again into the corner of my nose. There we have it. Now I do have some of each foundation left on my palette. I didn't use it all. Normally I would use probably two pumps for my whole face plus a little bit for the extra layer. I just wanted to make sure that I had the same amount of each on my palette and it doesn't quite look like it because like I said this one's a little bit thicker but I think I did a pretty good job getting it on there evenly. So I am going to do the rest of my makeup. I'm going to do exactly the same products on my face. In fact I'm going to film another video of an eye look and then I will check up during the day and see how it looks and put it all together in one video and let you know if this is actually a dupe for this or not. I am back and I have the rest of my makeup on my face. I will have everything listed and linked if available down below in the description box. And I did record the video of this eye look. If it is up first, I will have that linked down below as well. If it's not up first, then make sure if you're interested in seeing how I created this eye look that you are subscribed, that you have hit that notification bell, and that you have turned your notifications on and set them to all. Otherwise, YouTube may not let you know when I upload new videos just on application and I have had it on for about an hour because like I said I did film this eye look so I'm going to come in close and remember this is the Lancome side and this is the number seven side and right now I can't tell a difference I am going to go over to my window so that I can show this to you in natural light. And then I am also going to go outside and show it to you in the bright sunshine. And I will do a four hour check-in and then I will do an eight hour check-in. And I'm not sure how long I'll wear it, but if I wear it longer than that, I'll give you a check-in longer than that. So let's meet over by my window. Okay, I'm here in front of a window. It's not direct sunlight. And so hopefully it's good natural lighting. And this is the Lancome side. I'm coming really close so you can see my skin. And this is the number seven side. It, they're just really pretty foundations and like I said even though they were a little bit different color I don't think once it's on my face you can tell. Let's go outside. It is really bright out here but it is a beautiful day. Please don't look at how badly my grass needs to be mowed. Our mower has not been working re recently and so it's just kind of gone crazy but we're embracing the natural habitat look I think. So I will show you the Lancome side first and then the number seven side but I gotta close my eyes because I can't look in the sun. And I hope I'm in frame. All right, so that's the makeup, and I will be back for the four-hour check-in. Darn it, anyhow, how do people remember to do these check-ins? I get busy at work, and then I forget, and then I get home, and it's time to fix supper, and then I'm visiting with my family, and then suddenly I look at my watch, and I'm like, ah, I was supposed to do an eight-hour and then four-hour check-in, and I didn't do either, and now it's been ten. So here we are at, I think it's been ten. Yeah, it's been ten. And I have no lipstick on and I'm just gonna do it this way. I've blown my nose a few times today so both foundations have worn off on my nose so they are similar in that respect and I've got my my mirror over here I'm gonna look. I think that my blush and bronzer have last have done well but I think they've lasted a little bit better on the number seven side. I feel like it's just a little bit more there than it is on the Lancome side. The foundation itself is not settled. I sometimes get settling right here in the creases here and it's not settled on either one. Other than being kind of worn off around my nose, it isn't like settled in the, in the grooves or anything like that around my nose. I don't feel tacky or like super shiny. This one feels a little bit more so than the other side. And my forehead does look kind of shiny and it feels shiny and really kind of the same on both sides. So I think what I can determine from this, they have both worn about the same. They 
feel the same on my skin and I think they look the same. So I think what that means is that yes, the number seven can go head to head with the Lancome and hold up just as well. Looks like it's a dupe for the Lancome Tainty Doll. So I don't have a lot of high-end products that I can actually do dupes videos, but this one was fun because I do have both of the products and I enjoyed it. If it was helpful to you in any way, then give me a thumbs up. And if you want to hang out some more, then meet me over in one of these videos that I'm going to share here. I'll see you there. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Bye-bye.